Hello learners and welcome to your natural sciences lesson. So today we're going to be answering practice questions and application questions that are based on the cost of electricity. So our first uh, practice question, it is asking us, what is another term for electrical energy, uh, for electrical energy supplied or for electrical energy used per unit time? So remember per unit time, it means we are dividing by time and the energy is divided by time. So that is going to be power because we know that joules per second or power or energy over time is going to be our power. So it's power. Question two, how would you then describe and define this term? So this power, how would you then describe and define this power? So power is the amount of energy used per second. So if you are to describe power to your friend or to anyone, tell, just tell them that power is described as the amount of energy used per second. Then to define power then, defining it and describing it is different. So defining power, we're saying that power is the rate at which work is done. Remember, still rate means dividing by time because we are measuring the amount of work being done over a certain period of time. So the rate at which work is done is the definition of power and the amount of energy used per second, that's now the description of power. Then question three is asking us what unit is used to indicate electrical power. So this power that you're talking about, what unit is used to, to indicate the electrical power? So we know that power is measured in watts. So the unit that is used to, to, to indicate the electrical power is watt or denoted by capital letter W. So it is watt or capital letter W. Now the next question is asking us to complete this. So we have one watt. What is one watt equal to? So we should know that one watt is actually one joule of energy per second or over one second. So this is going to be one joule of energy over one second, which therefore is going to be joule per second. So S for second, so let's write it small so that you can see. So it's going to be per second. It needs to be to the exponent of negative one and the J must be a capital letter. So one watt is one joule of energy over, a, over one second or one joule per second. Now question five is asking us to convert kilowatt into watt. So what we need to now remember about this is a one watt, as we have said, it is one joule per second which means it's one joule over one second. And also one kilowatt is actually equals to 1000 watts. So therefore, when we are given one kilowatts to convert into watts, just simply you multiply by 1000. But if, it, if you are given the opposite, if you are given watts and you're supposed to convert to kilowatts, we are going to divide by a thousand. So to say kilowatts to watts, what do we do? We multiply by 1000. Then watts to kilowatts, we are going to divide by 1000. So you always need to remember this. When we are given now in this case that we need to convert the one kilowatt into watts, we are just simply going to be multiplying this one by 1000. So therefore this is going to be 1000 watts. So every one kilowatt is equals to 1000 watts. So now moving on to the to the next question, remember they are still based on the on the the cost of electricity. Now question 6 says how is a consumer's electrical power consumption calculated? And question 7 it is asking how is the cost of electrical power consumption calculated and we need to give a word equation. 
So the consumer's electrical power consumption, we need to remember that it is calculated by the power which must always be uh, converted to kilowatts. If you are given in watts, you must always convert that power into kilowatts and then multiplied by the number of hours in which that particular appliance was in use. So number of kilowatt hours is equals to the kilowatts multiplied by the number of hours in which the appliance was used. Then now the cost of the electrical power consumption, how is it then going to be calculated? So we are still now using the very same, uh, the very same equation, but on top of that, we need to add tariff. Now remember that tariff is going to be different from location to location. So uh, the, the cost of electrical power consumption is calculated by saying cost is equals to the power rating of appliance. Now remember that the power rating of this appliance, it can be read from the, from the back of any appliance, which is going to give you how much energy that that appliance is going to, 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 to use per second. And then that is going to be then multiplied by the number of hours in which that appliance was in use. So should you now use a, a, an appliance that has a rating of, let's say, a 0 0.5 kilowatts, and you're going to be using that appliance for, let's say, two hours. You're going to be multiplying that by two. And then if we are told that the unit price of electricity or of, of the tariff is, let's say, one rands and 50 cents, then our cost is going to be calculated as cost will then therefore be 0 0.5 multiplied by the two, and then you multiply by the 1,5. You do know that 0 0.5 multiplied by the 2 and then multiplied by the 0 0.5. That is going to give you 1,5. So it's going to give you 1,5, which is going to be your 1 rands and 50 cents. So if it's, one, if it's 0 0.5, just to double check, 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 and then multiplied by 1,5, it should give you that uh, 1,5. Yes, it does give you 1,5. So that means the cost of, of, of you operating this device, it is going to cost you 1 rands and 50 cents if that, power, if that appliance is rated at 0 0.5 kilowatts and you are using that appliance for two hours and we are told that the tariff for that particular year or for that particular month in that particular location is equal to 1 rands and 50 cents. So now, before now jumping to the next set of questions, being the application questions, we're just going to quickly go for a short break and I will see you just after this.